Hello everybody! Yes, it's me again, it's Ghost Critic. Did you know it's Wednesday? Did you know it's New Comic Book Day where you can buy all these wonderful comic books that are brand new? Yes, I've been to the comic book store, I picked up my pull list. I've got about, I think it was eight or nine books this week. Um, I did put on an extra two. One issue that I think came out last week but I missed out on and I really need. And a new number one that I thought I'd give a try uh, that came out this week, which I'll be telling you all about in just a second. Um, all there really is to say is thank you to everyone who watched the Sunday comic book review video. Um, it was a longer one than normal because, you know, some of you asked for long ones. Uh, so I gave you a long video. Um, and I don't know if that'll ever happen again. Um, I had the weekend off, so I had the time to... Um, properly prepare and be ready for that behemoth of um, an upload. Right, short and sweet there, let's get on to the books. It's all Marvel, it's all Image, there's nothing else, which isn't such a bad thing. Uh, when you have the Fantastic, because I have really enjoyed this, it's only three issues in, but what's been there I've loved. It's issue number three of Jason Aaron's The Avengers. Um, love this. It's fantastic. Uh, I love the coming together of these kind of teams in the first story arc. I know it's a bit cliched, but um, there's just something about it, the way they all come together. Um, we now know that kind of Loki is somewhere involved in all these celestials dying and falling from the sky. And this... Um, uh, black celestial who appears to be killing them all um, so I'm very intrigued by the whole storyline great characters in there and of course great Ed McGuinness artwork um, I don't want to spoil too much for myself but see if I can find some um, some fun art in here I mean he does some great double double page spreads but um, Good old Ed McGuinness, uh, nice and bold and bright and exciting. Uh, issue number 604 of Charles Sewell's Daredevil. We are still, in some respects, plodding along with this storyline, um, with the whole Matt Murdock now being the mayor of New York, but for how much longer, I wonder. Um, some gas was released uh, in New York in the last issue and then his priest turned up um, to kind of save the day or be of some use. Um, the story, like I say, it, it's kind of putting on it. It's not bad, but um, it's just, it's not hugely exciting um, it's very uh, kind of procedural again um, the balance between action and the procedural being a mayor and all that kind of stuff um, it, it, it's slipping to the more more let's talk how we're going to use all our resources to keep everyone inside and yeah I want some action. I want some of those big villains. Let's get rid of Kingpin. Yeah, we know now. Uh, let's move him aside. Bring in some of those old classics for Daredevil to go up against. And let him just have some fun being in the costume. Uh, issue number two of the new uh, Doctor Strange run from Mark Wade and Jesus Sayers. Um, I actually enjoyed the first issue uh, throwing Doctor Strange into um, an environment that he's not particularly comfortable with, i.e. outer space. Um, he's landed on uh, an alien planet where they don't even recognise the word magic, so I don't think he's going to find a new source of that on this planet or maybe he does and they just don't realize it is magic they've got another word for it who knows but um yes i enjoyed the the premise of this throwing him out in op uh, an open space um outer space uh but i'm not overly keen with say as as the artist on here i think he can be good in other books i just don't think he's particularly suited to this i mean it looks nice but it needs someone else on it, I think. Who knows how long it might last. 
Uh, there's an annual this week, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, um, written by Chip Zdarsky, and it's got the old reds on the art, so expect everyone to look like they've come from a 60s mod revival um, concert, I don't know, it's just their style, and you know, it's okay for a while, um, and we had it obviously all in Dan Slot's run on Silver Surfer, and it kind of suits that the story that was being told it was kind of kooky it was um kind of out there and a little bit psychedelic will it really translate to this or will it just be a gimmick we shall see uh the last marvel book and it was a uh, new number one i thought i'd give it a go i've never collected it as a single issue i've collected you know, collected works of it, um, but much like DC and The Flash, I'm not overly familiar with the art, uh, with the um, story and the mythology and the history. Tony Stark, Iron Man issue number one from Dan Slott, with art by Valerio Shitty and Edgar Delgado. Um, we'll see. Um, it's a big thick book so hopefully it will be kind to new readers uh, and catch them up on the present status quo of this character because I know he's been out of circulation for a while and we've had, um, is it Ironheart, uh, the young girl in the um, suit and we've obviously had Doom being the, is it infamous Iron Man? So he's been playing along with that um, but Tony Stark is back. How? Hopefully I'll be able to fill in the gaps or Dan Slott might be able to fill in them for me. But let's see how that goes. Who knows, it might end up on my pull list. Okay, the four image books. I'll start with the one that I think came out last week and I missed out on and I really shouldn't was Proxima Centura from uh, Farrell Del Rimple. Uh, I love, obviously love his artwork. It's so cr um, crazy uh, and kind of, it's got that really indie feel when indie meant something. Um, but uh, the story I'm guessing is going to be way out there as well. Um, I'm trying to remember the last thing I read of his. I think he did some short stories or, or a kind of ongoing in that collection island that um, Brandon Graham yes Brandon Graham did with Emma Rios I think he did a bit of work in there and it was nice to see him still doing stuff so hopefully and I'm sure it will be a, a lovely fun read um, not actually sad that this is ending, I'm, well, I mean, I feel bad saying it myself, um, but the beef comes to an end, this five issue miniseries from Starkings, uh, Shaky Kane, uh, Shane Line and Ross Hell. Um, like I've said with all these issues, I'm not really sure, apart from the overtly let's not eat meat, let's be vegans, I don't know, I don't know, but again, as I say with every issue, I will lap up Shaky Kane's artwork, whatever it, it appears in, even if the story ain't up to much or it isn't up my thing, it's not aimed at me, uh, perhaps it is aimed at me and it's trying to convert me, but no, this man likes his meat. Um, to finish off, two fantastic books. I always love reading these. Um, always high on my list to read first. Gideon Falls, issue number four from Jeff Lemire, Andrea Sorrentino and Dave Stewart. Oh, I love this book. I love it, love it, love it. Psychological horror. Um, what's in that black or is it red barn? Black barn. Um, we have these two kind of protagonists. They haven't quite met up yet, and I'm sure they will do leading on in the story. Um, I've no idea whether this is an ongoing or it's just a, a maxi or a mini series. I hope it is an ongoing because I need more of this kind of book in my life. It's a great story, it's beautiful artwork. Um, I just, well, 
just give me a quick shot of the art. I'm sure it will be on uh, very near the top of my reviews on Sunday. Um, probably along with this, vying probably for top spot, it's Deadly Class, issue number 35, uh, Love Like Blood, part 4. And I'm wondering if this is the final part of this story arc and they could be taking a hiatus. Um, I'd like to think not with the hiatus at least. Um, but we had the kind of um, uh, the movie 7 type ending where uh, Marcus is going to kill um, the Russian guy, the Russian guy, the Russian guy. What's his name? Victor. Um, got the drop on him. He's going to, looks like he's going to shoot him in the head. Uh, a gunshot did go off, but we did not see who got shot, if anybody. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to um, catching up with our uh, deadly class schoolmates. Brilliant stuff. And that's all my comic books. Please let me know what you've been picking up this week. Um, I think the only other number one that came out this week was a image book, Shanghai Red. Didn't appeal to me, but hopefully someone out there it will appeal to and they'll buy it and we'll hear from them how good it is or otherwise. Um, if you're new to my channel and you want to keep up with my videos, there'll be a definitely be one on Sunday uh, reviewing uh, those comics you've just been watching. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notify bell so you don't miss it. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below. I'll reply as soon as I can. And um, have fun with your comic books this evening. Take care. Bye-bye.